Good afternoon, everybody. This video that you're about to watch was actually filmed on August 10th. That was the day that the Haunted Mansion reopened, or was supposed to reopen, from a little, like, weekend closure. And uh, there was a, some buzz around the community that maybe they would be putting the Hatbox Ghost in because there was no real reason that anybody knew of for them to, like, close down the Haunted Mansion for a few days, other than, like, to put in the Hatbox Ghost. So, I made my way to Magic Kingdom in hopes of seeing a brand new thing. Spoiler alert, that didn't happen. They didn't install the Hatbox Ghost, so this video sort of turned out to be like, let's go have fun at Magic Kingdom and do some stuff that we haven't done this year yet. So, we hope you guys enjoy this video, and stay tuned because we still don't know when the Hatbox Ghost is coming, but we're gonna be on the lookout. We do know it's coming this year though, so. Let's be on the lookout for Hatbox Ghost, but enjoy this video of us having fun at Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom. Good morning from the Transportation and Ticket Center parking lot. We're heading into the Magic Kingdom today because the Haunted Mansion went down for a refurbishment the past few days. It is set to open today. It has yet to reopen this morning, but with the talk of the Hatbox Ghost and them walling off that section for where the Hatbox Ghost is going, Kind of feeling like maybe they're gonna open it with the Hatbox Ghost today. We don't know, no confirmation of that. That's just my hope and dream. You never know. That might happen, it might not happen. If it doesn't happen, it's gonna be a fun day at the Magic Kingdom. If it does happen, we're gonna be riding the Haunted Mansion. So let's head into the Magic Kingdom. As we're walking up to the ferry boat sign, they just replaced this sign, kind of updated a little bit. The ferry boat up on top of it at least. Looks nice. All right, we've made it over to the Magic Kingdom. Still no word on the, oh, Hong Kong to you, Mr. Train. Still no word on the Haunted Mansion. Still says temporarily closed on the app. Oh, the Mickey pumpkins are all over Magic Kingdom. Yeah, and Dapper Dan's are out right now, singing some songs. Made it into Emporium, of course, grabbing some air conditioning. What are these? I'm confused. What is it? It doesn't. I, this one is like a little Nemo, like fake grass looking thing, but what is this one? Hold on, I gotta investigate. Alright, it is nothing in particular, it is just a little holder for stuff. You put things in there. I don't know. <laughs> That's all that it is. Uh, $20 for this one and $25 for this one. Oh, this is interesting. You got a few, this is a mug, like a votive candle holder. And then this I'm assuming is maybe also a candle holder or like a candy dish. $40, but I like how creepy it looks. A giant void of a, of a thing here. <laughs> $25 for the candle holder and the mug. Not together, like each one is $25. Yeah, it's nice. I don't know if I showed this last time or not, but $25 for this light up candy bucket right here. It says trick or treat on the back.
just like making my way around Magic Kingdom finding all the musical acts because the piano player was playing at Casey's now Main Street Philharmonic's playing so let's hear what they're playing. Today is the first day of school in Orange County, coming back from a summer break, and it kind of feels that way inside Magic Kingdom. There's not like a ton of people in here. It is still busy, but it's not super crowded. I just noticed that here in Liberty Square, we do have some fall decorations up in the form of fall leaves and some gourds and some wreaths. Here we are, on a Mansion. The whole reason we came out here today, and it is still closed. A lot of people standing around though, waiting to see if it opens. All right, we stood here for about 20 minutes watching the activity around Haunted Mansion. From everything that I'm gathering, it should be open today, but maybe not anytime soon. So, I think we're gonna go around and maybe ride some other things, and then come back, check back. So what I've decided to do is take this opportunity to do some things that I haven't done this year in the park. One of those being Enchanted Tiki Room. So we're gonna head over and watch the Enchanted Tiki Room, and then there's a few other things that I haven't done. I'm gonna try to check some things off the list today. And that's just things that I haven't done this year. So, a little like a asterisk in there. Not that I haven't ever done, just things that I haven't done this year. All right, let's do it, Enchanted Tiki Room. Looks like we just missed the show, so we have to wait our 12 minutes until the next one. talking with people about Haunted Mansion because I'm wearing my Muppets Haunted Mansion shirt. And people are like, we talked to a cast member, they said probably open late today, if not at all. Like, maybe it's not gonna open today. So, I think we're just gonna be going around Magic Kingdom. Uh, one of the other things that I haven't done this year is go on to Tom Sawyer Island and ride the rafts. So, we're gonna head over there. Ooh, I'm saying yeehaw, I guess that's from Country Bears. So, let's go over there. There's not a lot to update on Tiana's Bayou Adventure that we can see. Seems like they are, they have the track covered up. No water in it. Maybe they're just doing scenic right now on the outside. Which I would imagine that's all they have to do because the ride actual path was not changing. So it should be all just scenic that they're doing. So these are the rafts that we're gonna get on. Let's get in line over here for Tom Sawyer Island. Just to give you guys some wayfinding here. Tiana's Bio Adventure right here. Big Thunder Mountain right there. And this is where we're getting on the raft. Quick look at the map of Tom Sawyer Island. Places we're gonna be doing some exploring. The barrel bridge is not there right now. So, 
Let's have a look around. We're on a little raft, making our way across the way, over to the island. Well, welcome. If you don't like creepy old scary places, don't worry. Huck, Finn, and myself are plenty scared too. Huck was more scared than me though. And then Huck says, was not. It really is like an interesting place here in the Magic Kingdom because there's not really a lot to do on the island other than just kind of like run around and look. But I remember when I was a kid, I used to love it. I used to like love getting lost in the mines and then in the caves. But in my adulthood, I don't fit in them as well as I used to. This one's not bad. This one's nice and spacious, but be careful. Footing is not so good. I'm at a little bit of an angle, but there is air conditioning in here. Ooh, that's nice. It smells a bit mildewy. Oh, we're rich. We found gems. Let's go talk to the seven dwarves. Maybe I was wrong about the caves. That one was quite spacious. Let's see if I can find a smaller one as we meander around. I don't understand how Tom Sawyer got really good at writing here, but that welcome sign he wasn't so good at. And he still can't do his name correctly. The S is still backwards, but up here it's forward? Unless he, he outsourced this. Maybe he outsourced the sign painting and then just signed his name. The grist mill, it says not to scare any of the birds, which we will find, it says. Also, if you're coming out here, be aware, there are steps and uneven surfaces all over the place. Now there is a really this Huck and Tom love Becky. Uh, there is a restaurant down here on the island that is open once in a blue moon. They see, see uh, chairs and tables. There, there are there tables? There are tables. Great place to come out here. If you packed a picnic lunch, come out here, come out here and eat it. But like I said, there used to, there is a restaurant that they hardly ever staff out here called Aunt Polly's. But right now it is closed and they do have some Coca-Cola machines out here though. You get a nice refreshing Coke for $5. Barrel Bridge, not open currently. Closed, as you can see, it is fully gone. There are no Barrel Bridges here at the moment. And I was just checking on Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion is still not open. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to ride it today. This is a great example of the uneven footing that I was speaking of. This is very much sideways here over top of the waterfall. There's the Liberty Bell passing by. It is a nice place to come and get lost at though. It's quite relaxing here. And it's shaded for the most part, so it's not as hot as the rest of Magic Kingdom. A little bit of a breeze today. There are water fountains around. Picnic tables throughout the island. I'm just looking for the entrance to a cave that I believe we're over top of right now. I think I found the entrance to this cave. All right, let's go into another cave. Catch some air conditioning. This one's a dark one. Ooh, there's a little bit of light down here, but for the most part, it's very dark. Ooh, but it's very nice. So if your kids are a little bit afraid or a little bit concerned about dark places, this might not be the best place to take them. But if they're a little bit adventurous, they could come down here. Ooh, this is what I'm talking about. Nice and claustrophobic in here. I did take a little side path, but it is claustrophobic in some places. Like, you don't have to go through there. There's just a little side thing that I went into over here. For the most part, it's pretty massive in here. Maybe that's what I'm remembering, are these little, like, tiny side paths that you don't actually have to take. But when I was a kid, it was like, yeah, let's take that little teeny tiny path. Ooh. What's this? Is this the bottomless pit I hear tell of? It's supposed to sound like water down there. I don't see any water though. Well now this spot in particular was pretty tight. Like, I, I can't tell where the walls are. Oh wait, there was a bigger... No, you still had to go through... Oh, I just ran into the wall with the camera. Uh, there, you still had to go through some of the tight pieces here. Even around this corner was pretty tight. So just be prepared. There are tight places in the caves. And thus, we've made it to the end of another cave. Oh, we're making our way across the suspension bridge. We're gonna get some pretty good views of Big Thunder Mountain once we get on to this other island. Like we kind of jumped between two islands here. This is Fort Langhorn that we're coming up on. There it is, Fort Langhorn. But I wanted to come over here so we could get a little view of Big Thunder Mountain going by. This is as far in as we can go. Get the good shots of Big Thunder Mountain right here. 
Seems like the trains are running few and far between. Hello! Oh, there's one up there. Is he coming by? Here he comes. Whee! It's amazing how slow it goes, but how fast it feels when you're on it. All kinds of fun stuff to look at inside of Fort Langhorn. I also wanted to mention there are bathrooms here in Fort Langhorn as well. And there are bathrooms on the island is when you first get here. What's this? Some chickens? Oh man, look at all those chickens. That's a horse, but a little horse booty butt. Still a guarded fort. He's just sleeping in there. He's been sleeping in here ever since I was a kid. Going up to the second level of the fort. Man, this is bringing back memories. It's been years. Well, I can go even higher. Oh. This is the lookout. This is awkward, right? Hmm. Okay. Right at Big Thunder Mountain there. It makes noise too. All right. I feel like all of Tom Sawyer Island needs to be kind of updated. I guess technically you're not actually firing at anybody. You're just firing at the side of the mountain here. But still, you know, I feel like the shooting arcade and this probably needs a rethink. It is a pretty neat area though. Let's head over here because we, we kind of like went up there and came this way. So we're gonna head across the way and see what's over in the other rifle roost over there. Oh, there's a straight up cannon in here. Wow. Oof, these are pointed right at Big Thunder Mountain and the train going by and everything. This one's stuck, I think. I am gonna take the escape tunnel though. Let's see where it leads us. Ooh. This is exciting. We're going down. I'm way down. Okay. Wow, this is exciting. Ow, ran into the wall. Oh yeah, this is the tightest one yet. Look at this. Like, I can almost reach just my hand across there. Gotta go sideways to get through. All right, even though it is shaded here, I think it's time for me to head back and try to catch some air conditioning somewhere. We are still under a high heat advisory, so still very hot out here. Let's go try to find some air conditioning. Maybe there's another ride that we haven't done in a while. Let's go look. Or there's Pirates of the Caribbean, which we've done every single time that we come here all the time. But it's a good ride. We've made it back over to the dock. Quite a few people waiting to get across, but this is also where the other washrooms are, the other bathrooms are. Off Tom Sawyer Island and now looking over at Tiana's Bayou Adventure. You can see they're working hard up there. It looks like there's a new structure at the very tippy top where they pulled off the stump. Yeah, not a lot to see. You can see, oh hey, how's it going? You can see they are doing some work right here underneath the tent. One thing I don't know if I mentioned the last time that we were here, but if you look at the top of this crown, it's got two stars on it. One's for Ray and one's for Evangeline. Making our way back through Frontierland, I might end up in Tomorrowland. We're gonna pass by Haunted Mansion one more time, just to look, get a feel for what's going on there, and then we'll head into Fantasyland and Tomorrowland. Outside of Liberty Tree Tavern as we're passing by, they've got more pumpkins and gourds out front. We're heading back into the fall decor because we are in Liberty Square. All right, stop by Haunted Mansion again. Still no update. The the line that the cast members are giving is that it will open today, they just don't know when. Even though it's not really a super busy day here, the wait times are still a little bit long. Small World's only 20 minutes, but if we look over at Peter Pan's flight, a steep 70 minutes here. Right now we're heading towards the castle. We're gonna go to the left of it, if you're facing the backside of it, and go look at Mirabelle's meet and greet progress. They're turning the Brave meet and greet into a Encanto meet and greet. Still, not a lot to look at over here. So just for some wayfinding, we are to, if you're facing the front of the castle, like coming down Main Street over here, this is to the right of the castle. Right behind it, this is Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. This is Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe. And for right now, there's not really a lot to see going on back here. So they have added some like tarps over here. They're just kind of rearranging some stuff it seems so far. So yeah, it, we will be continuing to come back and have a look and see if there's anything else going on, any more progress being made. But as of right now, not a lot to be seen here. As we're at the break point between Fantasyland and Tomorrowland, just outside of Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe, 
We do have a lighting tower. I feel like we're doing a Halloween Horror Nights update. There's a lighting tower that is here for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Also, just as a note, there was a little bit of a change to the entertainment schedule for, or entertainment locations for Mickey's Not So Scary. Normally, this Cosmic, Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe here is home to the Zombies Dance Party, but the Disney Junior Dance Party got moved over here because Zombies got moved over to the Tomorrowland stage, and we're assuming that it is got moved here because it used to be back in Pete's Silly Sideshow area, and that is where the Seven Dwarves are gonna be meeting, and that's such a popular meet and greet that they are trying to make more room for the line. We've made it into Tomorrowland, and you guys know I'm gonna go ride the People Mover, but first, I'm gonna stop into Star Trader, see if there's anything new or interesting that we didn't see in Emporium in here. Everything here, as far as fa Halloween goes, seems to be the same as what we can find in the Emporium. All right, here we go, getting on the People Mover, getting some cool breezes and a little bit of air conditioning. It does dip in and out of the air conditioning. Oh, it's always exciting when you're the train in front of you takes off and you're front row. We did it. Well, weird Stitch isn't on the stage. He's just like out with the crowd. Greetings, intergalactic travelers. Welcome hey, Norak. The people move. Presented by Enterprise. I'm Norak Five. How you doing, Norak? Right by two of my favorite spots. Where's that? Oh, you're not gonna tell me? All right. I am kind of sad that Tiana's Bayou Adventure doesn't have a people mover attraction. I guess I could ride the train and get a little bit of a bird's eye view of it. Maybe we'll do that. We'll get on the train and ride it around to. Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Have a look at the backside of it. Thank right you. before Space Mountain, where the air conditioning is, we got stopped. Ah, ooh, that train started moving. We're not moving though. Uh oh, here comes the train coming up behind us right now. Oh, there we go, we started moving now. We did it. I was a bit concerned because there was a train coming up behind us pretty quick. And people have been bumped before on the people mover. Stitch just out here kind of walking around a little bit. Journey got temporarily delayed again. Usually it's to help people get off that need a little extra time. All right, I think instead of taking the train over, we might just take one quick dip by Haunted Mansion again just to see if it's open yet or if there's any hustling and bustling happening around it. So the very first Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party is tomorrow and they have a photo op out here already set up for it. For Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. You can look like you're driving Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. All right, I have officially given up on riding the Haunted Mansion today. We are going to be back very, very soon. So we'll be riding it very soon, just not today. I have a feeling in my bones that it's not going to be the Hatbox Ghost. But you never know. But I have a feeling in my bones it's not going to be. So feel like I'm not missing out on a lot by not riding it today. We'll just ride it another day when it is open. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Magic Kingdom to try to ride the Haunted Mansion. It did not work in our favor. We did still have a good day. We got to do some exploring on Tom Sawyer Island. We got to look at some more of the holiday, like Halloween type fall decorations. We got to ride on the TTC. We got to ride on the Tomorrowland Transit Authority. And just kind of, in general, have a good day at Magic Kingdom. So. All in all, it was a fantastic day. I do wish I had gotten to ride Haunted Mansion and find out what they did. Why was it closed for the past two days and why they had such a hard time opening today? Like I said, we will be back soon to ride again. So, all in all, it was a fantastic day. But with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.